My beloved wife cheated on me and my daughter isn't mine. How can I move forward as well as shake angry feelings? This is gonna be a long one. My wife and I were married for 21 years. I figured it was one of those miracle marriages because we barely argued, seemed I always be the best of friends etc. Well, our 15-year-old daughter received a 23 and me thing for her birthday from a friend. And of course, it said we weren't related. She had me do a swab as well as her mother and her 14-year-old brother. Only her brother and I seemed to be related. So I did a paternity test afterwards and lo and behold, she wasn't my f asterisk 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 ing child. My ex-wife cried and pleaded for me to hear her out, but I just went numb to her. It would be one thing to cheat, but to find out the light of my life isn't even to related to me killed me. Don't get me wrong, I love my daughter with all of my heart. She's still my daughter no matter what, but what's scaring me most is my seemingly vindictive desires. I never been like this and I know it's out of anger, but I want her to suffer so bad. The kids absolutely hate her, which on one end helps that desire, but I know that deep down, she is still their mother and I don't really want them to hate her. Her parents and siblings all are mortified at her. Her sister hasn't spoken to her in a couple months. We all grew up together, so it hit hard for everyone. Again, this makes me feel great, which in turn scares me, because I don't actually want her life to go into shambles. But I can't help feel euphoric when I learn something in her life is falling apart. Both children are living with me, as they don't view their mother in a favorable light at all right now. I'm thinking about having the talk about them going to talk to her, because as of now, they refuse. The part that breaks my heart the most is that my daughter seems to be overcompensating her roles of a daughter. She makes sure to tell me how much she loves me, and is, in essence, being the perfect daughter. But I can tell it's because she knows that she isn't biologically mine, but she desperately wants me to know how much she values me. I'm actually going to talk to her tonight about that to tell her that she doesn't have to act differently. I just really want to know how to shake the sadness and angry, vindictive feelings. I want to move forward as well as help my children move forward so they can worry about school and being teens. Please, any advice will help. Story 2. 25 male I don't know how to come back after ghosting 25 female, hookup slash NSA. So there's this girl that I up with a few times. We live in different towns but my family lives near her so I am in town a fair amount. We had already discussed that we were keeping things casual just for sex mainly. She said that I didn't have to talk with her if I didn't want when I'm away, but she would be disappointed if we didn't up again. She just got out of a long-term relationship and my mother just passed away. Haven't shared this with her yet, so definitely had a bunch of raw emotions and the sex was great. Anyways, we were texting a decent amount joking and flirting and keeping it light. My mom's funeral was coming up and I just kinda said I needed some space to think about things, she said if I wanted to share feel free, and she would be happy to hear, but also if I don't that's totally okay. I'm thankful she gave me an opportunity to vent, but I didn't want to share at the time and didn't get back. She sent me a funny picture since and I didn't respond to that either, so I guess I kind of ghosted her which I feel pretty bad about. This was about 2.5 weeks ago. I just came back into town and had my mother's service which was a big weight off my back. I would like to reach back out to her but also don't know how I should really approach it. I was thinking of apologizing for disappearing and telling her what I've been going through but also kind of want to go back to having things be casual and light and fun. I know I probably sounds like a mess right now and I don't really want to come off that way, part of the reason why I ghosted. Anyways, thanks for reading, and if Jai have any insights or advice, I'd love to hear it. Story 3. I 21F, don't know how to handle me and my boyfriend's 20M situation. I don't know what to do. There are a number of issues that I don't know how to handle and which have been getting increasingly severe over time. I'm calling my boyfriend Jay, of course, it's not his real name firstly. Some information, both Jay and I have issues with our health although I would say that he is doing worse at the moment, particularly to do with depression, anxiety, and feelings of guilt. Of course, I don't know this for sure, but I am almost certain that if not for his relationship with me, Jay would seriously hurt himself, as he has attempted to do multiple times in the past. 
Jay often has panic attacks and other periods of strong negative feelings which he needs my help to get out of. He is disabled and chronically ill to the point where he often cannot sit up from or leave his bed for more than a few minutes at a time due to a mixture of weakness and chronic pain slash migraines as a side effect of the above point. Jay also needs to be on a variety of medications to manage pain and other things, and many of them really take him out of it. The best I can describe it is that he becomes somewhere being between high and zombie-like, so not really a conversation partner. So when he needs to take them, I'm basically on my own, other than taking care of him. Jay is also autistic, and so tends to have a difficult time with both recognizing tones of voice and regulating his own tone, leading to both of us often believing that the other is angry slash sad slash whatever when they aren't, which can then cause actual negative emotions. On top of this, he does legitimately get angry easily, so it can be hard to tell what is really going on. Finally, I am queer and... Despite wanting to be accepting, Jay has a hard time not having very negative feelings about that part of my identity. This then makes him feel like he is a bad person for having these feelings, which I then need to calm him down from, which takes hours and happens every few days. I really love him, but I don't have the energy, mentally or physically, to essentially take care of him around the clock. I feel angry at myself for even typing this but I feel like I have to act like a parent for him more often than like a girlfriend. I want to be doing things and living a life instead of staying in one room, with no sleep schedule, taking care of my boyfriend. I don't know what to do. I don't want to end the relationship, because I do love him, also because he wouldn't be able to live without my assistance, but I just don't know how to handle this for much longer, and I just can't imagine myself doing this for the rest of our lives. Does anyone have a similar experience or any ways to help? Story 4. I-18F. Need advice about a fast-moving potential relationship with 28M. So I recently got my first boyfriend. I know it's a little late for most people, but I had been extremely focused on school up until I graduated and only really made time for a lot of socializing and fun over this last summer. I just wasn't too popular in school and only really started making friends etc. this year. Anyway, I met this guy, Matthew, at work. He was a new hire in June and he pretty much shadowed me most of the time because of our schedules. We ended up getting along really really well. He is also super cute. He asked me out in September and we really hit it off. We've been on quite a few dates since then and I also lost my virginity to him. Things are starting to really pick up with us and he asked me to be his girlfriend at the beginning of November and then yesterday asked what I thought about moving in. I still live with my parents and don't have much money saved as I don't make a whole lot of money. I just work at a camping store for barely above minimum wage so I can cover my car payment, phone and my parents charge me 200 for rent since graduating so I can comfortably cover my bills and some fun money but not too much more and I don't really know anything about living away from home. Matthew works part-time at the same store as me and is also currently in school for his master's in psychology. I don't have plans for post-secondary at this point as I really enjoy working at the store and running the kids' camping program so for now I'm happy doing this. I know he is a bit older than me which my mom did mention but she said as long as I'm happy and he treats me well that sometimes age doesn't have to be a factor. He also didn't know my age until a few months in and was surprised. He thought I was older. I'm worried the relationship might be moving too quickly and I'm not really too sure how to navigate everything. But also I know as a person I'm a chronic over planner and worrier so I'm not sure if I'm just overthinking it. I feel a bit lame but it is my first experience with dating, thinking of moving out, and overall having these experiences. I'm really just looking for some advice about navigating an adult relationship and things I should maybe consider about moving in with someone or how to know if things are going at the right pace. Advice really appreciated.